Hi, Nancy Ruby here, and this is my friend, the skeleton. Today, um, I've gotten to introduce you to a practice that I hope you take advantage of on a regular basis called Core Connections. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on the muscles that surround this skeletal body of ours. This is what they look like. And we're going to strengthen the muscles that support our abdominal wall from rib cage down to the pelvis. We're going to support the muscles that give us the opportunity to twist our spine and hold us in nice and firm. We're also going to strengthen the muscles along the spinal column, through the back of the hips, the back of the legs, and then again in the front of the legs so that we can run and jump and play. And that when we are standing, we can hold ourselves upright. Because if we didn't have those muscles, Oh, we wouldn't be able to do that. So we want to firm those muscles deep inside our core so we can sit well, stand on our own two feet, and feel comfortable in our own skin. So join me. Begin by laying on your back, your hands on your belly, tilting the pelvis forward and back, then side to side, just loosening up the lumbar sacral area. Draw the hips towards your shoulders, side to side, and then anchor the sacrum, engage the abdomen firmly, feet are planted, hands behind the head, curl up, feel the front ribs hugging in as you work the upper abdominals, the rectus abdominis, and begin hugging in and lowering down. Breathing out as you rise up, and inhale as you lower. Keeping the sacrum steady on the ground, the pelvis neutral, working the abdominal muscles without tilting the pelvis, keeping neutral spine. Back in, 
through. The back feels safe. Option number three is to extend both legs, hovering, draw in, and the same on the other side. Hover, hugging in on the waistline, and return to center. Bringing the hands behind the head, we'll put together the lifts. Drawing in and up, working with the upper abdominals, this time with the feet off the floor. So hugging in both these rectus abdominis and working the deep muscles of the transverse abdominis. And then side to side with the legs, strengthening the psoas. If you're feeling strong here, you can add leverage by extending the leg out away from chest, forehead to knees, stretching the back, breathe, and then kicking the legs up if that's available and coming back to an all fours position, leaning back to down to child pose and resting, relaxing the lower back. <laughs> 